Kia ora guys, my name is Alex Telford from unitycookie.com and today we're going to be showing you a, a few of the shaders that I've been working on for the upcoming series Noob to Pro Shader Writing in Unity 4 which if you haven't heard of it already, we've been talking about it a bit on our Facebook page it is a multi-part, multi-series series aimed at taking your skills from flat color fragment shaders like what we're seeing here all the way to full-on DirectX 11 uber shaders and of course this is all aimed at artists not programmers so we're looking at perfectly readable code that is understandable uh, it's not you know we're not doing any surface shaders we're not doing any CG includes we're coding this perfectly from scratch so we're going to be writing in our own lighting models and um, our own image handlers and all of that kind of stuff and it is actually quite easy. It's, uh, it, take, it takes a little while to get the hang of, but what I hope to do is give you all the shortcuts of, um, you know, I've, I've taken the long way myself. I've learned this from scratch, from many, many books. I want to give you guys, you know, tell you what you need to learn so that you guys will be able to not only make the shaders you see here, but be able to make any shader that you can imagine. All right. So, let's take a look at what we have. So starting off we've got the flat shader, so obviously we pick a colour and we have a shader. So if I go ahead and select this, pretty straightforward, nice and easy. Okay, so moving on, we go ahead over to the next lot, we have a Lambert shader which is controlled by our directional light we have here. We're going to take that Lambert shader, we're going to add a ambient coefficient to it. So this is the ambient light that's specified in your project settings. Then going to go ahead and put on some um, specular highlights. So if we rotate that light again, you can see that moving around. So that's, uh, that's sort of relative to your view position and your um, object's normals. And then what we do is we go ahead and we take that vertex lit shader and we make it pixel lit, which is nice and high quality. Which is something that is more for your uh, desktop applications rather than mobile. And is, uh, it looks a lot nicer. Okay, once we've got that, I'm going to go ahead and add in some rim lighting. So this is rim lighting that responds to the direction of the light. So it's not a perfect rim, it's not a Fresnel, it's, um, it's just based on the light you have there. Next up, we have something pretty cool. We're then going to get into, if I can turn this on, using multiple light sources. So this is pretty cool, it allows you to use point lights and spotlights and all of that kind of cool stuff. Okay, let's move along. After we've done that, we're going to look at adding in some flat textures to our shader. So it's the same lighting model on these two, it's just this one on the right has some flat textures. I'm going to look at using gloss maps. So I've made my uh, shininess on this very low. I can select this. Right, there we go. Alright, so if I crank that back up to 10. See that's the same lighting model, it just has this map attached to it, which becomes more apparent when we drop that down. Alright, so it's pretty cool, let's uh, move, move along to some more exciting stuff. What we're going to do next is we're going to look at putting a normal map, so getting a bit of bump on it, and then an emission map, which is pretty straightforward. So this is all the stuff we've covered before in our Surface Shader series. But this is all hard coded from scratch. We're coding in our own lighting models. Uh, everything's done 
exactly how we want it. And that is the introduction. So this is what we are going to be considering, you know, your level one. And what we're going to do after that is we're actually going to move over into, uh, come back over here, level two. So there's three levels to this. All right. So over here, this is our intermediate shaders. So we're going to start off with uh, some pretty straightforward stuff, just to make sure that you know you've been following along with the the first one. I'm going to look at just a flat color with a cutoff. We're going to take that and apply, as you can see, a transparency map. Very straightforward. After that, we're going to go ahead and do some um, cube map reflections and cube map refractions, which is very, very easy stuff. Then we're going to take a quick look at image based lighting, um, which is taken from the Wikibooks um, series. And that one there is quite, quite easy. I just want to quickly touch on that one. What we're going to do next is we're going to be taking a look at getting um, Z depth and depth of field in Unity 3. You can see that that all reacts as I move down through these. And we can even adjust these a little. If I just come back up. All right. So on this, ah, let me select it. Okay. So on this uh, depth of field one, you can see we've got, we can adjust the amount of blur, uh, we can adjust the distance of that. It looks pretty horrid when it gets close because of the way that it's being blurred, but you know it works in Unity 3 and I've done some tests on this and I believe this will work quite well on Android and iOS devices, but don't quote me on that one because it hasn't been um, actually tested on a device yet. Okay, so what we're going to do after that is we're going to move across and we're going to start taking a look at some cool little stuff. What we have here, ignoring the little snake on the other side, is we have translucency. So this is just some flat basic translucency. Then we're going to take a look at um, vertex animation. So I, I love working with vertex animations, it's, I find them really fun. So if we go ahead and let's just go, so this is the, what I've got going on here. And we can make this move in all, all axes if we want. Of course it's going to start going a little bit crazy, but you know, it's all fun. Let's just crack them all up. Yeah. All right, so anyways, um, it's a cool little thing to do anyways. So what you can do with vertex animation uh, is you can, of course, make moving little blobs. You can do jello. You can have them react to other objects. So something I did in my test by accident is I had a little, I tried doing a uh, displacement by object and I put in the wrong code and I ended up with a vortex shader that had a sphere that sucked all the cylinders around it into it. It looked really cool, it cracked me up laughing, but uh, yeah, that was fun. So things you can do with that. We're going to take a look at Tune Lighting. So this is creating some nice little tune effects there. So I'm going to put a border on it. So these, of course, all these shaders have tons of controls that I'm going to be showing you how to make like uh, the threshold of your lighting there, your diffusion of it. Uh, we're going to take a look at the outline thickness and putting a bit of diffusion on the outline. And there's a few other things there. Let's uh, move along because we've got a few to cover. We're then going to take a look at using objects, so the surface, these are surface lights. Uh, so we have little objects here that are used as our light source. And these are really easy for uh, doing, ooh, what's it called? When, you, when you've got a whole bunch of objects and you want a light to affect a specific surface or a specific 
material in that group. So you can use these and they uh, work really well for that. And of course we can, once again, change the color of these and it will affect the lighted outputs. So we're going to be looking at those, we're going to be looking at how to use scripts to control our materials, how to use materials to control our scripts, and do all of that really fun stuff. If I can find my camera controller again. All right, so that's um, this is actually in the in the advanced series. So we finish up over here on the intermediate. We're going to start over on advanced over here somewhere. A lot of shaders here, so all right. Okay, so on in the advanced section, what we're going to do is we're going to kick off with something just to make sure that you've been following along, all right? Um, and this is taking a look at the same model that we had for our tune shader, and we're going to be applying some textures and normal maps to it, as well as a gloss map that you can see working there. Then going to move across and we're going to take a look at uh, this is thickness base translucency so if I grab my light here and rotate that around you can see how that just absolutely glows because I've cranked that up and I've used a uh, painted in thickness map here because it's a cylinder um, but you can quite easily generate your thickness maps for your models and get some really nice looking translucency going on. And then we have a few secret shaders that are not currently up for show. These are these are some shaders that are going to be working with Unity Pro. So I'm going to be taking a look at some Unity Pro specific shaders, especially diving into your uh, DirectX 11 um, tessellation and coding all the sort of stuff from scratch and you know just doing some really really awesome stuff currently for some reason my my pro license is not as been um, unvalidated so supports getting onto that for me but yes yeah, so all of these ones that you've seen so far these are all going to work in unity free and we're going to throw in a few pro ones in there um, we do have another couple of free ones so we're going to be looking at subsurface scattering for unity free and uh, some more cool stuff like that what i really want to hear from you guys though is any suggestions so if we just move this camera out and just take a look at all these shaders that we've got going on here i think it's all all right so we've got a whole bunch of shaders here we have you know, we've got your basic lighting, we've got texturing, normal mapping, um, using your normals, tangents, binormals, all of that kind of cool stuff. We've got reflections, refractions, more complex lighting setups, depth of field, getting the z-depth um, pass and unity free, translucency, cartoon shading, surface-based lighting, um, and subsurface scattering. What I really want to know before we uh, release this series out to you guys is what else do you guys want to learn um, this is everything that I've thought up of so far this is going to cover basically everything but if there's something specific you want to cover let me know I'm happy to write anything I I can write any sort of shader so yeah let us know alright so that's it for this once again my name is Alex Tilford and this is unitycookie.com